So today we're going to look at the inlet manifold on a Reliant. Robin, Rialto, doesn't matter, they're all the same pretty much. So this is a standard manifold. Carburetor here, inlet ports here, the match up to the head. You've seen there's a couple of lines there that might give away what we're planning to do. There's two main areas of improvement on the inlet manifold. The first off is the inlet port here. If you can see that. So you might be able to see there's a very sharp edge on the inside here. Carburetors don't like sharp edges. They like round, smooth edges to help improve flow. Um, sharp edges do help with turbulence, but to be honest, the inside of this manifold is a very rough cast anyway. So you will get a lot of natural turbulence from that. So a sharp edge here is quite bad. So I want to do something about that. The other problem as well, you may notice, the outer tract is short, is longer than the inner tract, and there's no join between the two. This creates a difference in the amount of fuel mixture that enters each cylinder, and effectively means that the two outer cylinders will run leaner than the two inner cylinders. There's a similar problem with the Mini, um, but the problem there is in the head rather than the uh, inlet manifold. With the Reliant, you've got eight ports, so it's a little bit different. Each cylinder has its own inlet and exhaust port, as you can see here. And actually, I have the exhaust manifold here. So eight ports in total for four cylinders, eight valve head. So one of the things I want to do is put a radius on this so that the turbulence is, is less so going around the corner. And then I want to balance between the two ports here. As I mentioned, the outer port generally runs leaner than the inner port. If we take away a small piece of metal here between the two ports, then what will happen is the flow will be able to combine before it gets to the inlet port. Now, I'm not too worried about flow at this point because you're actually just trying to improve volume, but by taking material away between the two ports, you allow the mixture from both ports to combine and therefore more mixture can enter each cylinder and also a more balanced mixture can enter each cylinder. It effectively means that both inlet tracts can serve one cylinder at a time rather than each cylinder being served by one tract. So I'm going to do a couple of those mods today. I've actually already started to roll the radius on this side. I'm not looking to take away huge amounts of metal. I don't want to risk hitting the stud hole. All I want to do is just roll the radius to give it a bit of a better chance of going around the corner. This side is still sharp, so we'll make a go on that. to roll away the edge you can see the inner edge rolled away there versus the other side which is much flatter I'm pretty happy with uh, this side so I'll try and take some more metal away from the other side it's alloy so it's pretty easy to work with it doesn't require too much hard work <laughs> The only problem with cheap alloy is it's blocked up my bit. So there's a couple of ways you can modify this part of the port. You can either cut away the entirety of the material or you can blend the two into one and then match the head to do the same. 
what I'm going to do is a bit of a hybrid of both. I'm going to cut this, clean cut, take out a piece of metal, both sides, and then on the cylinder head, I'll blend the ports together. Going to use a grinder for this. Won't be the most precise. You can see I've made some cuts. I'll knock these out now. You can see what we've done is basically allowed the two ports to blend together versus that side. I'll clean this up, that's not... One thing worth adding, you've got to wash this out once you're done, otherwise you're going to end up with a lot of alloy dust in your engine. That stuff's not good for your piston rings. see we've taken a good portion out which means that the flow between the two ports can now be equalized a little bit it's not super important that it goes proper deep and uh, tries to distribute the flow far up because otherwise you lose strength in the inlet manifold these two ports are actually quite integral to the strength as is the wall so we don't want to uh, remove too much of that but just taking out this small section will mean that hopefully get a little bit more power out of it. Again, similar to the exhaust modification, it's not big power we're talking about, just a little bit, but it means that hopefully you can see in there, there's a bit more chance for it to flow. <laughs> 